So, really insightful and thrilled to hear how investing in women is not just the smart thing to do, but as beyond the billion notes, the right thing to do. It's been a fascinating for me to work also with my partner, Katharina Fake, who is actually like a real trailblazer and a female founder and an entrepreneur for more than 20 years in Silicon Valley and New York. And yeah, so there have been so many stories and lessons for her also like, yeah. It was harder before, but still there's a lot to do. So yeah, definitely supporter of this. And to provide us a strategy to tactically build deal flow, I'm pleased to invite Anne Ravanona, founder and CEO of Global Invest Her, to share her invite insights. So is Anne here? Can we hear? Yes? Nice. Thanks. Are you ready for briefing? Are you ready to hear more and to build on the conversation that we've just had and heard from the last panel? Are you ready for more? Good. So I'm going to show you, let's build and take the great messages that we learned and move it forward. Because I want to tell you that you have the power in your hands sitting here to make the change. I'm going to show you how. Um, so I'm Anne Ravanona, founder and CEO of Global Invest Her, and I am on a mission. I am on a mission to change the world. So our mission at Global Invest Her is to help get one million women entrepreneurs funded by 2030. Now we're not going to do it alone, we're going to do it with all of you. And that's what we would like to do. So what's the problem? What is the problem? Where are the women? Why are they not walking in your doors? Where's the deal flow? Tell me, what's the problem? You've heard some of the things here. So what is the problem? Lack of role models and events like this, okay. And I'm glad to see there are some women in this room because we need more women and this is kind of indicative of the investor land. Hello, perfect, okay. So I want to tell you something. We, women entrepreneurs, I'm one of them and I advocate for them, we're everywhere. So don't tell me you can't find us. I'm going to show you where you can find us because we are here and we are not going anywhere. So when I founded Global Invest Her in 2013, nobody was talking about funding women entrepreneurs. Shelley, we were having conversations way back when. Nobody was talking about building global consortia to mobilize the capital. And I remember setting up a Google alert for funding and women entrepreneurs and I would get one to two articles per month in 2013. Now that's about five or six a day. So things are changing, which is good. But we are everywhere, and I want to show you where to find us. Now I have two hats as a woman founder myself, and I, always, I also advocate for women. So I'm also working on policy recommendations to the G20. So literally at the moment, I am part of W20, which is the official engagement group of policy recommendations to the G20, and we're working on moving the needle forward on policy, because we talked about that too, it needs to change. So where are the women? Let me show you. We decided way back when, to your point, where are the women? I need to see her first, before I get to know her, and before I can fund her. So in 2020, during COVID, well, before that, for many years, we were showcasing women entrepreneurs through Huffington Post. I interviewed 60 women leaders and put them in the Huffington Post. Then I was doing webinars, then I was doing podcasts. I said, what more can we do? What more can we do? And in 2020, COVID hit. And I said, what can we do? All of these women, they need to sell their products and services and we're all stuck. So in order to start that, we built a few tools that I want to introduce you today. And when we say, how do we find those women? I want to encourage you to do three things. One, open your mind. Open your mind. Take off the glasses of bias, because we all have bias. And what is bias? The definition of bias is when you perceive something to be true 
It's a, based on perception, not fact, my dear Jan. He's great because I interviewed him for, on my podcast as well, and Shelley. So open our minds, open our hearts to think different, to see different, and to start looking for opportunity. The second thing I want to encourage us to do is to ask. Ask where are the great deals Ask in your networks, in your male-dominated networks already, open the question and say, what great deals are you seeing with women founders or co-founders? What great women GPs, LPs do you know that I should know about? I encourage you to ask that question and count. Shelley used a great example earlier, and I've done that too. I've been in front of investors many a time in, front, in those investor dinners, and I say, I have no bias, I have no bias. I say, brilliant. So how many women have you got in your portfolio? Most of them can't answer that question. And I try to let them off the hook and I say, listen, you're only meeting me for the first time. I'll let you off this time. The next time I see you, I need an answer. You need to be able to answer. So I want you to start counting. Start counting the women who come through your doors. Start counting the number of pitches that are coming through, the pitch decks that are coming through with a woman founder or co-founder. Start counting the women in your portfolio your LPs, your GPs, so let's start counting. So, during COVID, we said we need to start counting and where do we find her? First I said, see her, then you need to find her. So, it didn't exist, so we built it. We built a global directory, the first global directory of companies founded or co-founded by women. Now, there were country directories, regional directories, sector directories, a lot of them very pink not very useful in that sense, a bit too kind of feminized. And so in 2020, born during COVID and built to last, I like to say, we built a first global directory. So it's called the founder, the founder directory, where you can actually found, you can find companies that are founded or co-founded by women. And what makes it different is that there are over 100 sectors on that directory. Over 80 or four, um, over 100 countries on that directory. We have over 1,645 companies. Most importantly, it's highly curated. So we actually go, when you're all looking at what's the news and funding, we are scouring that every single week and adding great founders from across the world. So check out the founder directory because we currently have 250 founders from around the world who are actively fundraising. So we already have a pipeline and we're looking to help them get funded. So that's first on the founder side. And I'm very excited to introduce you to another tool today, which is really for all of you in the room here as well. So this is on deal flow. But I want to say, let's take it to 2.0. And find, but for you guys, I want to take it to 2.0. You need to be found. Shelley asked the question, why aren't people coming through your door? What, what's wrong? What's going on here? A lot of women don't feel welcome. I loved your example, how you turned it on the head, the statistic of the 2%, would you go for that job if you knew you only had 2% chance of, of actually succeeding? How would you feel? I remember many years ago, inviting a client to the Global Summit of Women, where it brings together over a thousand women from different sectors around the world. My client was the CEO of a major oil and gas company, a public company in France. Now, if we're a thousand women, he was one of maybe 50 men in a sea of a thousand women. And I remember he came to me and he said to me, and I needed to use the bathroom and I couldn't even go because it was taken over by all the women. And he's like, he was mortified. But he had never experienced what it was like to be other, to be the extreme minority. It was the first time in his life. And I can tell you, he was a diversity and he is a diversity channel. Champion. He's no longer in that role, but he's a diversity champion. So I want to say that looking for you, you need to be found. If you're serious about investing in diversity, people need to find you. So how can we do it? So I want to introduce you to the next tool that we built this year, which is called the Funder Directory. So what is it? The first global directory of sources of funding ranked by how women founder friendly you are. So we independently rank you to see, are you walking the walk? So today there are over 1,100 funders and you notice we call it a funder directory because it's much wider than just investors, angels, VCs. 
and private equity and more. So we include banks, we include accelerator programs that give money, we include grants, so it is the whole broad spectrum of the funding menu. And so, as you can see, there are over 200 countries and 223 sectors and growing. So, how is it different? What are these criteria that we rank you on? So, the first one is, we have five criteria, the first one is, do you actually invest in women founders? So we look at your portfolio and we go and we see, have you invested in a company that has at least one woman co-founder? It doesn't have to be wholly women founded. So we check. Then we check, do you have any women investors on your board? So any women investors who are check writers, then you get an extra tick. The third one is, do you publicly support women founders? To your point, Women need to be seen. Do you showcase the women in your portfolio? And not just to kind of put to diversity washing. Do you give them a voice? Do you use their words and let them speak for themselves? Or are you writing the script for them? Are you choosing how to portray them? The next one is, do you invest with a gender lens? Do you count? Do you know how many women are coming through your doors? Do you know how many women are pitching to you? And do you, yes or no, only focus on women founders? So, as you can guess, this is a five scale, one to five, and so people get five stars if you do the whole way. And so what's included in this funder directory? We're going to show you inside now. This is what you'll see, the gallery view. So we, we, because we are catering for all diversity, we're going to show you three different ways that you can see the information. So imagine a database where you can actually simultaneously search, if you're a founder, all the sources of funding by sector, by country, by stage, by investment thesis, by diversity, by type of funder, by country, all at the same time. Think of this as like a crunch base on steroids, but only focusing on the diversity and the women founder angle. That's what we are building and built, and we want to continue to build it with you. So let me take you a little bit inside. We have different views. So one, you saw the gallery view. This is kind of the list view. Sometimes they say, just give it to me quick. I don't want to have a whole detail. And we can give it to you in a table as well, because sometimes we need to look at now. Let's look at the top. Did you see the stars, the ranking, the rating? We all know Yelp. We rank you on those five criteria. But notice the ranking, the ranking image. It is five diverse women faces. It's not stars. Notice also that we showcase you, the funder, the person, because it's about building the relationship with the person. Now, let me show you, take you inside what it looks like. Obviously, these are screenshots, but it's all live online. So we have over 223 sectors. So that founder can put in loads of different key sectors and say, I want to find the sources of funding per sector. I can search all the countries in the world. Now, of course, I cannot guarantee you will find a funder source of funding in Mongolia. We may have some that will do it. They're not all there, but it's growing. And this is where it's different as well. On the five criteria at the top, but also on the diversity focus. So we actually go and we look through all the um, founders in your portfolio. What are the different types of diversity? Black, BIPOC, LGBTQIA+, Latina, Indigenous women, rural women, senior women. These are all things that actually currently exist and we actually put it in. Nobody's done that before. So what does it look like when a founder sees you? I want you to imagine this is your profile. This is the information that they get about you. So much more detailed than what you would normally get. You can see that we give the ranking. So you've got the two smiley faces. The sector, the stage, yeah, we're used to seeing that. Now, what's a bit different here is we have the keywords, the countries you invest in, the diversity focus in this case, they didn't explicitly state it, so we don't put it. But we say, of course, we put your website, your fund, all, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, all the things that, that is going to help that founder to find you to do her desktop research faster. Instead of having to look through your website, through your blogs, through everything, we have done that pre-screened work for her and for you. But what's different is, look at this, how best to contact me. So we put down, when you have an application form, we put the link to it there. She doesn't have to go going through your website. Of course she can. 
but she can go straight to your application form, straight to the email that you've put on. What's also different, we put the assets under management, of course, check size, but you'll see on this example down here, the extras. It's what's your investment thesis? And what are your key messages to founders and to women founders? Now, you may ask, how do you find all these funders, Anne, and how do they get onto the directory? There's two different ways. We curate it, it's highly curated, so we scour the global press every single week to add new funders to it. And also there is an application form that I'm going to invite you to do. So you apply, and guess what? When you apply, we usually add to the information, because sometimes when you put down sectors or whatever, my investment thesis is B2B SaaS, and I'm like, oh God. Give me more, that's not gonna help that woman founder. So I will go, we the team will go and we'll search your website and we'll get the more information. So sometimes we're not our own worst enemy, aren't we? A bit like the mirror, we don't recognize what's useful information to the other side. So, and we also have a section which is like, what are the latest funders that we add? So for example, this is every single week we have new ones. Here it goes from angel networks to grants to um, VC. It's all mixed in together, but you see the people. So I want you to take a screenshot here because I want you to take the QR code, check out the funder directory. That gives you the link to the directory. And I want you to share it with all the women founders in your portfolio, with all the investors and the LPs, because guess what? LPs and GPs can be on this too. LPs, because, of course, there's lots of GPs who are, are raising their funds. So we actually, one of the categories we have in sources of funding in the, in the drop-down is, is it an emerging fund? So we actually track that, and you can say, we can say you're a fund of funds, so we can track it. This one, take a screenshot of this one, because if you want to be on the funder directory, it's free. That's the good news. So all you need to do is take a photo of that, get the link to it, and fill in the form, and you'll be on it. All we charge to the founders and to funders, so you can do your benchmark, you can see how you rank versus the others in your segment, it's $200 a year, it's nothing, it's gonna go up. But I want this to be crowdsourced with you. And the last thing I'll say to you is, in, come to us in Paris after you've been in wonderful, wonderful Finland, in June, at the end of the month, we are organizing the very first Invest Her Summit, which is bringing together the people who care about funding women entrepreneurs, the policy shapers, the corporates, the investors, and the women entrepreneurs. So grab the QR code, and if you sign up and get your ticket today, this special code is for Arctic 15, you get 25% off until the 2nd of June. Like, we currently have a best price out of 20%, but you get an extra 5% if you sign up in the next two days. We would welcome you there. So here are some tips. I'd love to see you, as many of you, on the Funder directory. Check out the founders, and let's keep funding women. Thank you. Thank you.